Hey everybody, Shayna here. These are traditional Panamanian sweets that I got from El Valle, which is a mountain town. Um, they have a traditional market that they set up every Sunday and it's really, really neat. And they were selling these sweets and I was like, well, I gotta try them because they look really, you know, they're like colorful and really, really nice. So I wanted to just share this experience with you guys on video. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I could find about each of these sweets and then also try them on camera and tell you how they taste, what I think of them. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, so let's keep this. We'll go in order of what this says. So Suspiros are a spiral-shaped cookie made from cornstarch, eggs, sugar, and butter. They're totally different in Panama than other um, places. Usually sus Suspiros is just, it's a little hard to say. Little, usually Suspiros is just a little bit of meringue, but here it's a, instead a, a cookie. Suspiros means sigh in Spanish, and at first I was like, oh, maybe it's because they'll make you sigh from how good it is. But then I read a little bit more and it turns out it's because it's supposed to release a little bit of air when you bite into it, like a sigh. Okay, so here we go. Suspiros. Hmm. It's like, it's got a glaze on it. It's very flowery. Uh, let's see, what else? <laughs> It's not as soft as like a sugar cookie or something. It's actually a little bit hard. I didn't uh, feel the release of air, unfortunately. But this is actually pretty good. It almost tastes like there's a tiny bit of coconut to it, maybe. I think the cookie was a little bit stale. So the flavor didn't really hit exactly like I think it was supposed to. But it's pretty good. It's not like anything I've ever tasted before, to be honest. I would definitely recommend that. That was good. <laughs> Even if it was a little bit stale. It was a little bit stale. Manjar is what's in this little cup here. It's also known as Dulce de Leche, which is a more common name, I believe. It means delicacy in Spanish. Um, and it's actually a pastry filling made of sweetened condensed milk. So dulce means sweet and de leche means of milk. And that's basically exactly what this is. Dulce de leche is actually found all across Latin America, but there are just different regional variants of it. And it's also found in places like Haiti, Norway, France, and Russia. And they all have a sweetened condensed milk base. So um, Panamanian style usually has a crystallized top to it. This doesn't seem to have it. Um, it just seems to have little crystals inside. So without further ado, let's try it. In we go. It's got a creamy consistency, kind of similar to peanut butter already, just from scooping it. Oh my gosh, that is so good. It's got crystal, um, crystallized sugar in it. Oh my gosh, it has a smoky aftertaste to it. It's very, very sweet when you first um, taste it. And you also get the crunchiness of the uh, sugar bits. But then by the end, it's got this smoky flavor. It's just really, really good. Let's try a little bit more of that. That is just so good. I wish this was a bigger cup. It's very sweet though. Actually, probably this is a good amount because anymore and I probably would get sick from eating too much of this because it's so good but it's very very rich and it really like lingers on your tongue mmm mmm so good okay so our next Panamanian treat is huevitos de leche which are what are wrapped in these colorful pieces of tissue paper the huevitos de leche means eggs of milk um, huevitos means eggs, de leche, of milk. 
And these guys are made from sugar, milk, cinnamon, or vanilla. I couldn't find that much about them other than they're very, very popular in Panama. A lot of people will, will remember them from their childhood. They're very popular with children. And they're also very, very caloric. Um, they're just filled with sugar. Like, there's so much sugar in these, but that's probably what makes them so good, right? So, they're always um, wrapped in this tissue paper as well, this colorful tissue paper, which I just love. I think it's so cheerful and just bright. So they kind of have um, a, the color of peanut butter, similar to the color of the manhar. And they've got kind of a powdery outside to them. But let's just go ahead and try one of these. Hmm. Wow. That was so good. Very similar in taste to the manhar. It really crumbles apart in your mouth. Kind of like a little dusty. Very sweet. <laughs> a little bit smoky at the end as well. Probably from heating that condensed milk. Really kind of like melts in your mouth after a while too. Doesn't taste overly sugary. It's got kind of a more complex flavor than just sugar. Man, that's really good. <laughs> These are all really good so far. <clears throat> kind of makes me thirsty. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a drink of water and then come back to this. <laughs> Our next sweet is called a bocadillo. And it's one of these guys. So bocadillo means snack or sandwich in Spanish. I couldn't find much about these other that they're just milk candies cut into squares. Um, so once again, they have a milk base like the manjar or the huevitos de leche. Yeah, so let's try them. A little bit harder to bite into than the huevitos de leche, but pretty much the exact same flavor. Maybe a little less smokiness at the end, but honestly, pretty similar flavor. Which isn't a bad thing. <laughs> Definitely crunchier. Very sweet. Doesn't really melt as much as um, the huevitos de leche, but exact same flavor, like spot on exact. Very good. It tastes kind of like what the crystallized bits in the manhar tasted like. Just that sugary, milky, um, Almost, almost caramelly. Caramel? Caramel? I don't know how to say it. However you say it. Caramel, caramel, um, kind of taste to it. Very good. I might have a little bit of a stomachache after all these sweets though. <laughs> okay, so our last and final sweet is this guy who's really, really like purpley red and crumbly. <laughs> uh, I couldn't find anything on this guy. I don't even know if I have the right name. There's something on here that says bandejas, but I don't even know if that's correct. So, cause bandejas means tray. So maybe it just meant like, you know, these sweets are on a tray, but I have, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> If you know, please tell me because I would really like to know and look up more information about it, but I couldn't find anything about it. I can't really say anything about it because I don't know what it is. Um, I don't think it's gonna be milk-based like the other ones, just given the color. I almost feel like it's gonna be cherry-flavored, maybe? Yeah, it's just a square, kind of crumbly, purpley-red thing that is a mystery. So let's try this mystery treat. <laughs> okay. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> that was really a lot of O's. So I noticed something chewy in it immediately. And it's coconut. It's like crunchy, 
and tastes kind of like the um, bandejas, right? Is that what that was? Yes. Nope, that's what this is. Oh no, <laughs> the bocadillo. Um, but then it's got bits of coconut in it that are still kind of chewy and seem really like fresh. That's really delicious actually. I have another bite. Very sugary, but has a very strong coconut flavor, which I love. That's super good. I don't know why it's red. It doesn't seem like it needs to be red. It looks like it was dyed red. Probably should have just been white or brown like these guys, but hey, it makes it more fun. Like, kind of like the uh, tissue paper on the Huevitos de Leche. It's just a fun color with a really sweet flavor. Just very, um, I don't know, just all around very fun. All of these things reminded me a lot of like, I don't know, like you would give these to a kid and they would probably be so happy because it's just pure sugar and like, just super sweet. <laughs> and apparently that is how a lot of Panamanians remember these treats, just like from their childhood, growing up with them. And I kind of get that weird nostalgia from eating these, like, I don't know if that's kind of weird. <laughs> um, just like super sweet, simple, delicious treats. Yeah, very nice. So that concludes my little experiment with these things, trying them for the first time, telling you a little bit about them. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And let me know, what is your favorite childhood treat? Um, I was thinking really hard about this and I think, I couldn't remember what they were called, but I think my favorite was those little balls that like were made of chocolate that had a toy inside of them. Those are always like super high up on my priority list. That or, ooh, those like push pops um, that were just pure sugar and you just like, yeah. Or Jolly Ranchers. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna stick to one and it's gonna be the chocolate balls with the uh, toy inside of them was my favorite. Yes. So yeah, let me know what your favorite is in the comments below. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe for more content. Um, this is kind of different than my normal videos will be. Um, They'll still be more travel-based than food-based, but this was just a cool, fun thing that I wanted to share with you guys. So thanks so much for watching and see you next time.